Hey, what is up guys? Murphy back for another deck tech and another league and today we're going to be playing Blue Red Prowess in Standard. Um, the list I'm playing uh, was played to 4th place by Billy Clough, I think, uh, and that was an SCG uh, Classic in Cincinnati. So uh, let's go over to the list. We're running um, effectively uh, 12 creatures, so we've got 4 Soul Scar Mage, which is basically just a one, it's one mana creature with prowess. It's and with an upside of whenever you deal um, like burn spells to creatures, then it puts minus one counters on them instead of dealing damage. So if you use shock on an X3, it just gets loads of counters, so it only has one toughness. So you can use it to make your opponent's creatures smaller as well as just killing them. Uh, force, force Stop Chaser Mage, which is just a efficient flyer with haste, flying, and prowess. And we're also playing four Riddle Form. So although it's not a creature, it's effectively a two mana 3-3 three, three flyer most of the time for us. And it's quite nice because it actually dodges, dodges our opponent's sorcery speed removal because as long as we don't activate it in our opponent's turn, then they can't actually kill them, which makes it very difficult for our opponent to deal with, which is really nice. So those are our main ways of killing our opponent. We play four Crash Through, which is just give all your creatures trample and draw a card, which effectively triggers all of our creatures, and it just refuel, uh, replaces itself. So it's a really nice cantrip in the deck. We're playing four Shock. Um, just as a 1 mana deal 2 damage, great, triggers all our prowess, it's very mana efficient and that's what we're looking to do. And 2 unsummon which is just 1 blue mana, return target creatures own it, to its owner's hand. And of course we are playing lovely white bordered ones as well. Uh, we're playing 4 incendiary float which is again just a burn spell, it deals, goes to face, kills creatures, uh, all the good stuff. And then we're playing 2 abrade, so we're playing uh, only 2 abrade and 4 incendiary float. I assume that's because incendiary float can go face and abrade can't. So a Braid can, uh, can deal with a creature and also, also occasionally deal with like uh, a Heart of Kirin or something like that. Four Fever Divisions, I think this is the card that kind of lets us get away with playing this style of deck. You're playing cards which, whilst are very mana efficient, they're not typically worth an entire card. So a card like Unsummon is obviously a very powerful card, it buys you a lot of tempo, so if you bounce their 4 drop or something, you've just effectively got 3 mana up on the board because you can like return their creature and then keep swinging. Um, but Unsummon isn't really worth a whole card in your hand a lot of the time because you bounce it and then they just play it again and now you're a card behind. Whereas because of Fevered Visions it enables you to draw lots more cards then it kind of lets you uh, use cards which don't necessarily va um, fill, the, fill the cost of an entire card so you can just draw more and then you're paying although you're paying um, less mana for a card it doesn't really matter that the cards aren't as, um, as like higher value as like an attrition style. Uh, card. I think I've explained that very poorly, but basically Unsummon isn't worth the whole card because of the you don't actually remove anything, you just slow them down and then uh, Fever Divisions allows you to take advantage of that. They were playing 2 Insult in Injury, which um, I'm not actually too sure about, but the list that I'm using, play 2 of them, it seems fine. Paying 3 mana for your like, Storm Chaser Mage to get in for a lot more damage in the air and things like that seems good. And the flashback, or the, sorry, the aftermath on it seems pretty good as well. And we're also playing 3 Charger, again, I think it's just to keep the cards flowing. We can just draw an extra card each turn, if we need to kill a creature we can. Uh, I don't think getting 2 red mana is going to be too relevant in this deck, just because the, the, the curve is very low. Uh, land base, we're running 23 lands, which is quite high, but we should be drawing quite a few cards from things like Fever Divisions and things like that. So I think we just want to hit our land drops, playing 4 Spy Bluff, sport, ugh, four spy bluff Canals, which is just the Blue Red Fast Land. Four Wandering Fumeral, which is the creature land, and we're playing two Highland Lake, which has come in tapped, but it does fix our mana, which is important, especially when you're playing lots of one mana and two mana spells. You need to be able to cast your spells, obviously, especially when we're trying to be uh, very tempo orientated. And then in the sideboard, we're playing two Refuse to Cooperate. So uh, Refuse is, it deals damage to a player equal to a spell on the stacks, converted mana cost. So if our opponent casts Ulamog, Ulamog, uh, I think it's Ulamog, has converted mana cost of 10, so it deals 10 damage to your opponent. If they cast um, something like Avacyn, Avacyn costs 5 mana, so it will deal 5 damage to your opponent. So uh, just Refuse is just a really sweet card. If your opponent's playing big spells, it's great. If you play against a ramp deck, it's going to be very, very, um, like a, just a big hit, hard hitter. And then Cooperate is you just copy a spell, or an instant or sorcery spell, and then you choose a new target. So if your opponent does something that like draws them 2 cards, or 5 cards, or 4, or whatever, or deals damage, you can just copy it. If they use something that like ramps them, you can copy that as well if you really want to. There's just a um, just a bunch of different matchups where copying your opponent's spells is actually really good. One by force to destroy a bunch of more artifacts. If your where are they uh, a braid down enough, then you can bring that in. 
Uh, for counter magic, we've got two dispel, which is good against counter magic decks, and it's also just good against decks with lots of removal things like uh, dispelling a um, unlicensed disintegrations. For for example, it's just very very efficient. Um, one Jace's defeat. This is for blue decks. Obviously, um, if you can get a Jace with it, then it's just incredibly powerful. But yeah, it's just uh, a count, uh, four counter magic fights, and then two negates, um, which is just pretty obvious if you need to like counter planeswalkers things like that or board wipes and occasionally there's just some big spells that you do need to counter and they're playing two browse expertise similar role to unsummon whereas it's just a tempo card so you're not actually using this to like when you're win against your opponent in the long game you're more as more focused on getting your opponent off the board and you killing them quickly and um, browse expertise does that we're also playing two sweltering or oh, sorry three uh sweltering sounds which deals damage to all creatures um and a lot of our creatures can actually survive this. So Storm Chaser Mage, you just because the prowess will resolve before the Sweltering Suns, doesn't actually kill your Storm Chaser Mage. And with Soul Scar Mage, it has prowess as well. So as long as you cast a spell before Sweltering Suns, then the Sweltering Suns itself will trigger prowess again, which means your Soul Scar Mage will be an X4. Um, so you can just go something, for example, on turn four, you could go Crash Through, which would trigger prowess, and then you go Sweltering Suns again, trigger prowess, and your Soul Scar Mage and your Storm Chaser Mage would survive. Unfortunately. The Rodeo form doesn't, but that's just um, if you're playing against a deck which is like flooding the board, then sometimes you need to board wipe, even if it does kill your own guy. And we're also playing two mag, also playing two magma sprays again for the little fast decks and things with uh, scrap heap scratch and things like that. So pretty standard. The reason I've chosen to play this deck is because I just think it looks really fun and interesting. Uh, Rodeo form is like just a really good example of a kind of card that I really like, where it's very good upside but also got. A quite a big downside. The ability to have a two mana three three flyer is like incredibly powerful, um, and the and the fact that it uh, dodges sorcerer speed board wipes is incredible. Um, the scry one is fine on it as well, but I think we're more playing as a two mana three three um, flyer. Uh, other cards that I really like are crash through. It's a card that I definitely want to try and play in modern with a kill fiend deck, um, and I really like fever divisions as well. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the deck I'm going to play. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the first round. Peace.